Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to read God's Word, verse 1 through 8 in the book of Ephesians in the Old Testament. And I'm going to begin now. Verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend, which means tear. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. When we go through life, this is Pat's two cents, when we go through life and good things happen, bad things happen, sometimes they happen simultaneously. Sometimes you're celebrating at the same time you're heartbroken. But listen, God has a purpose for every single thing that happens under the sun. Do not think that he is not in control. Don't even go there. It may seem like he's not. It may seem like he's going on a coffee break, so to speak. But God knows exactly how to line up the dominoes so that they fall right on time, right in place, right in the center of his will to accomplish exactly what he's already planned before the problems have even arrived. Now listen, when the Bible talks about a time to lose, we don't like that one. But you know, God let me know that it was time for me to lose my house in order to get this house. I had to lose in order to get. I had to lose to gain. I had to lose to win. Some of you have to lose your pride. I've had to many a time. Sometimes you have to lose your pride in order to win the battle. You may have to lose the battle in order to win the whole war. So trust God in the losing process. It's hard. It's difficult. We can't see even with glasses on. But God knows. He sees. He knows. And he knows exactly what to do on your behalf and mine. Remember that when it looks like you're losing and you want to open up your mouth and you want to fight. I'm talking from experience now. You want to fight. You have the right to fight because you're in the right. They're in the wrong. Everybody knows it, including them. But someone in, in, instructs you or the Holy Spirit instructs you or God's word instructs you to keep your mouth shut. Because there are times, as Ecclesiastes says, a time to keep silence. And even though it looks like you're eating crow, and it looks like you're swallowing your pride, and you're feeling totally humiliated in the process, you're going to come out the winner because you're doing it as you trust God to work 
on your behalf and to vindicate you, which he knows how to do. So I hope you're encouraged. Don't get downhearted. I'm, I'm going to read some more later. I'm going to share some more videos dealing with Ecclesiastes because there are things we don't realize God allows in our lives and it's really a blessing in disguise. We can't see it. We think, oh, the devil is doing it to me. Oh, look at this attack. Oh, what is going on? Why, why, why? And God is saying, chill, baby. I got this. Yeah. And he knows how to rub it right in the devil's face. What he meant for bad, God means for good. So you be encouraged. You hear me? Mother has spoken.